I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we About to see the world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hi Andy, my name is Lindsay and I work for the airlines and I need to make a reservation for today. Uh, of course, uh, just for tonight? Yeah. Sure. You've stayed with us before, haven't you? I have. Okay. I'll just uh, duplicate an old reservation. Okay. Um, so I don't have to keep you on the phone here and we'll be all set for you when you come in today, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I'll see you soon. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye, -bye. Well, that was easy. Welcome back to another vlog. I am rushing out the door this morning. I thought I had all of my stuff together and I was situated last night before I went to bed, but I totally wasn't. I was running around, I couldn't find my sweater and then I realized I had washed it. <laughs> this trip is kind of nice. I am a commuter, so as you guys know, or if you're new here, I live in Orlando and I am based in Minneapolis, which 99.7% of the time my trips start in Minneapolis so I have to go up to Minneapolis and literally come down tomorrow morning and just do one leg to Orlando and then we lay over here for oh shoot there's a fire truck we lay over here for about 20 hours tomorrow night and then we go to do a charter so it is a scheduled service flight tomorrow down here so we do have regular passengers and then I think it's a sports charter I want to say tomorrow and then um, or not tomorrow the next day and then we do two legs and then we lay over we do a day layover and then we do um, the trip back to Orlando and then we deadhead Orlando on the third day to Minneapolis which I'm just gonna stay here because then I have one day off and then I'll commute back up for another trip so this trip is kind of nice I actually picked it up I wasn't supposed to be working these couple days but I picked it up just because it's an Orlando layover and why not I have all my required items I have everything I need and we're doing it this flight is later than normal usually it's a 12 15 flight but for some reason it's at 110 today it allowed me to have more time at home we're commuting today and staying the night in Minneapolis and then coming back tomorrow. So super easy, except I am going to um, block these two trips off, or these days off as two separate vlogs. So this vlog is actually going to be uh, just commuting, kind of like that kind of stuff. And then we'll do like a trip vlog, if that makes sense. And I'm really sorry I'm dark, I don't know why. Mm. That's a little bit better. Hi. Now you can see my face. Yeah, so this is just going to be a commuting vlog. And today I didn't bring anything, like I didn't bring gym clothes or anything because I know once I get to Minneapolis, I'm just gonna wanna crash because I have such an early show tomorrow. I did get a hotel for tonight at the hotel that I normally stay at. Ugh, there were love books on the windshield. If you're not from Florida, look it up love bugs are the worst absolute worst but I am excited to have a layover back home it is nice when you when we have layovers in Orlando because I'm getting paid to be home 
so catch you at the airport okay sorry parking in this parking lot I have to pay monthly and it usually comes out on the 6th but I needed it to come out earlier because I was leaving on the first today so I paid it yesterday and it said ticket expired so I'm gonna have to call them good thing I printed out my confirmation number because the last time this happened they were like oh you didn't pay I was like yeah I did and they were like you don't have a confirmation number this parking lot, they're not very nice here, so you always have to be prepared when I'm parking over here. <laughs> Haven't done this in a while, but here she is. At least the fountain's on. The Magic of Disney store is still closed and current wait time for security is three to seven minutes. So still pretty short security lines. Hey guys, I made it to Minneapolis and it's freezing. So waiting for the shuttle driver to pick me up to go to the hotel so I can unpack and put my comfies on. But first I have to take a COVID shower because whenever you're on an airplane afterwards, you have to take a COVID shower to wash everything off. And then I am going to eat dinner and just watch TV the rest of the time. So yay, but it's like 50 degrees here and it's freezing. Got my room key, heading to my room. They now give us little breakfast, which is great. Love that, they're so nice here. Hey guys, so finally in the hotel room, I'm gonna get out of these clothes and take a shower and then I am going to get in my comfies and eat dinner. It's already four o'clock, so I'm pretty hungry. I had a little sandwich on the aircraft. I don't know why I saw my mask on. <laughs> um, I had a little sandwich on the aircraft but nothing too crazy and then I slept the entire time. Um, I did bring a couple little like melatonins for tonight because I knew that my check-in is so early in the morning that I would need to take melatonin. So my van's at 5.30 and my check-in's at 6. But anyway, I'm going to 
uh, do all the things I said. But before we do that, I want to show you guys what's in my lunchbox because I know I asked you guys a couple weeks ago if you would want to see what's in my lunchbox or what is in that bag or like my favorite carry-on bag and the vote was what's in the lunchbox. So we're going to do that, but I need to set you guys up somewhere. So I have to figure this out. I think there's a master switch. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's first talk about our sack breakfast. The last couple of times I've stayed here, they've been giving us, I don't know if it's just the flight attendants or if it's your a choice member, because I'm part of the choice member club now. I don't know, but they've been giving us sack breakfast and then in the morning you get a juice. So, got an apple, very fall. I got a chocolate muffin, which I won't be eating. And I got some Cheerios, Cheer Cheerios, honey nut Cheerios, but uh, there's no milk, so. And um, this is my lunch tote. I've talked about this brand before, but it's the Majecto coolers. I can, you can get them off Amazon. That's where I got mine. I love the Majecto coolers. I have another one at home and it's like a legit tote bag. It looks like a tote, like it's like this. It's like, you know, it's not like wide. It's very skinny and it would look like a laptop bag, but it's a cooler and it's awesome. But, and then I also have the, uh, strong bags cooler but that bag is for when I'm doing like four to five day trips because I need to fit a lot of food in there this bag is great for one or two day trips I can fit plenty of food in here so we're gonna uh, get into that really quickly so obviously there's two side pockets right here the mesh pockets uh, this side I put my hand cream on it it's just the Trader Joe's hand cream and then that my water bottle was on the side. So that is that. And then there is a front zipper pocket, which I just have snacks. I have popcorn, a mask. I have a bunch of crystal light packets, tin foil for the airplane if I have to heat up anything with tin foil, some Velveeta snack cookies, a pen, and a rollerball peppermint essential oil. So that is what's in the front pocket. There is no top like additional pocket on the top like some coolers have, like the e-bags has. It's just flat, but there is a pouch right here, which is nice if you want to put things in. Um, and then we have inside. So clearly I could have fit a lot more food in here, but I'm only gone for one day. Like I said, I'm going back to Orlando tomorrow so all is well but I have a banana for in the morning I ate these on the airplane but I needed to save them because I am doing Weight Watchers Blue and so I needed to track my points but I couldn't do it in the air because it doesn't register when you're on airplane mode so I needed to save this for my points then I have two hard, hard boiled eggs for in the morning my little Butterfly things from the Dollar Tree, the ice packs. These are nice because they last like pretty much a day and then you just put them in the freezer and freeze them and they last They last a good while. I like those. I think I got them at the Dollar Tree, literally. Then I have a pumpkin bagel with some whipped cream cheese. This right here is seven points. So the bagel is, or excuse me, it's eight points right no it's nine points sorry nine points for this combination it's the bagel is seven points and the whipped cream cheese is two points for two tablespoons so it's nine points i had it this morning that's why i know and then this is going to be dessert tonight it is a milk bar truffle chocolate chip truffle crumb cakes Target, amazing. Milk Bar is out in California, but Target finally started carrying some of their products. So I bought these, and these are four points for one cookie. So eight points for two. And then in the morning when I eat my bagel on the airplane, I wanted a plate, because I didn't want to eat it like not with anything, because 
I could have made it with a paper towel, but I don't know, just classy. And I like these plates that I had, so I brought a little plate. And then I have silverware that I got from Anthropology that's reusable. It comes with a knife, a spoon, and a fork, which is nice that it comes like that. And then you just slide it in there, and it's really nice and compact. And then I have two beef jerky things that I brought. I was going to eat these on the plane, but I slept the whole time after I ate my sandwich, so I didn't eat these, so I'll just save these for later. And then my meal that I made last night it is mixed veggies with jasmine rice and chicken. And I think this is going to be about eight or nine points for this whole thing. So pretty good deal and that is it that's what's in my lunchbox so like I said it's pretty average for what I need for just a day that's all she wrote my friends that's all she wrote put this stuff in here so I don't forget it in the morning I have to track my smart sweet but now we can go and shower and all that fun stuff. This is my toiletry kit, my job kit, whatever you want to call it. It is from L.L. Bean. I will link it down below. I had this job kit when I first started flying and then for some reason I stopped using it for like three years and totally regretted it and now um, we're back. So I got one this year and I smell completely clean. If it's my stuff that I just bought, I'm going to be is okay no never mind it didn't leak i have mask me really badly here we are talking about mask me i'm sure a lot of people have it but i went and bought this mario badesio drying lotion and i can just smell it because i can smell the tea tree in it so it must have like cracked or something but it didn't explode but i have been using these witch hazel pad from Thayer's in the scent lemon and then i've been using this mario bedestio drying lotion sorry it's like really weird to hold <laughs> there we go um so i've been using that i've been doing obviously a face mask uh just to absorb it because of this drying lotion just to get some hydration station in there but then I have these pads on that you can't see because they are clear, but they are pimple patches. And I get these on Amazon for like a pack of six or so. And they're just these little dots that you stick on your face daily so that the pimple is not exposed. But they're just these little dot patches thing. Like they're very small. These ones are for little zitties and these ones are for bigger ones. But I just put them on the, you can't even see them on, oh, you can see that one right there. I just exposed myself. But this one, and then I have one on my neck that's really bad where my mask is, but I was breaking out so bad, like all around through here. It's just been really bad. So I've been doing these remedies 
every night and it's been working for me. So that's my mask knee routine. This stuff's amazing too from Tula. I love this stuff. It is, sorry, hold on, let me do it this way. It's under eye cream. It's amazing, I love it. It's like a cooling, glowy thing. I don't know, I put it on my eyes every morning and it just reduces the bags, allegedly. But I love Tula products. I use their face wash at home. But that stuff's really good too. But I am gonna shower now and I'm gonna put my comfies on and eat my dinner. Hi guys, it's about 7 p.m. I ate dinner and I've been editing this vlog and I've been watching um, Big Bang Theory, not really doing a whole heck of a lot, but I just wanted to pop on here before I go to bed and say goodnight. But before I do so, I just wanted to point out that it is October 1st and thousands and thousands and thousands of flight attendants and airline employees um, were furloughed today and it's really sad and it breaks my heart because I don't even know what they're going through right now. I just pray that this ends so quickly so that everyone can get back into the air and fly. I've seen a lot of posts. It's been all over the news since I got to Minneapolis. Um, Minneapolis is a big Delta hub and they furloughed a lot of pilots today, not not flight attendants, but a lot of their pilots were furloughed. Um, so they were talking about it, but American and United have been affected really hard on this. And I have a lot of friends at American and a couple at United. So just seeing everyone's posts on Facebook is just so heartbreaking. And my heart goes out to each and every single one of you and I've been calling the number. If you want to call the Senate's number, I will leave the information down below. And, you know, it's just, it's a really tough time right now. It, it really is. And I just want every one of you to know that I'm thinking of you. And I hope that this ends quickly and we can all go back into the air and fly and everything. So I just wanted to say that before I get off here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog and start up my trip vlog tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed commuting with me today and uh, seeing what I do and my mask knee. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.